This situation is terrible. It only takes one bad officer to put a black eye on an entire police force that otherwise does great work. Pay attention to both of these officers, how they forcibly maneuver the defendant, how they speak to him with zero respect, how their actions are 100 times more forceful than his. Oh my god. Yeah, kind of, kind of a bad day. Come on. Okay. What are you doing, dude? Sit down on the ground and I'll bring the car. I didn't do nothing. No, no. Quick, my mom. I didn't do nothing. You can start going with the program. Ouch. That hurts. Quit it. That hurts. It's called pain compliance. When you stop resisting. Ow. Ow. I'm not resisting. Why are you doing this? Because you're just not going with the program. <clears throat> I am. Quit hurting me. You're hurting me right now. I'm not You're hurting, hurting you. me, dude. You're hurting me. That hurts. That hurts. That hurts, man. Jake, Jake, Mr. Gross, listen to me. Quit with me. I'm not with you. Yeah, you are. You I'm telling did. you the way this is going to go. Would you like to shut your mouth and listen? You are not in control of this situation. You are under arrest for hit and run and DUI. You're about to get placed into a patrol car. I was going to walk you over there, but you decided you didn't want to go with the program. I so was, now you're sitting here like a three-year-old. Oh, 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 that hurts. Okay? I was so, walking. listen. Listen. Oh, oh. And it will continue to hurt if you don't shut up and listen. In a moment, I'm going to stand you up. You can cooperate with that, or we can do more of what I've we're doing. I've been in cuffs before getting controlled like by an what we're doing, or would you like to stand up, sir? that little badge go to his head. Got any issues? No, not at well, all. I said, which way are you going? You slam me up against the car. Here, no, grab him. Dude. I gotta put gloves Kill on. Kill Democrat. And we've done it again. Can we just keep doing this? I can't breathe. Are we gonna keep doing this? I can't this? breathe. You're talking, you're I breathing. You're talking, you can breathe. Uh, uh. Okay, let's stand up. Stand up. Put on your big boy pants. Come on. You wanna act like a man. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, let me up, please. Let me up, please. Yeah. Stand up. Stand up. Come on, you're banned. Be a man. I, I can't feel my legs. You can feel your legs. Alright, there's a wheelchair right behind you. You get to sit. Stand up. I can't feel my legs, dude. I'm tired. I can't feel my legs. They're gone. They're gone. I can't feel my legs. Come on. Don't forget your pasta box. Mr. Gross, we are done with your silly little games. <laughs> he uh, was assisted to the ground. No. Oh uh, yeah, the nose thing just happened in the grass out there. I can't feel my legs. You can't feel your legs at all? Okay. You feel this? I need you to answer me. Wait up. Do you feel this? No? Feel that? No? Do we want to just grab his arms and flop him up on the bed and then yeah. we can... Sure. That just doesn't go more. One, two, three. Oh.
Ah. All right, sit up. We're gonna we're gonna ah. move those cups around. Ah. Come on, sit up for me, Mr. Gross. Ah. Sit up for me. Yeah. All right, let's do this. <laughs> Go right here. I'm going to pull them just to the side. Can you unlock it? I'm working on it. Do it just. Oh, you are. We're That's working on it. it. Okay. I thought you meant you were going to. There's a like method it. to my madness. <laughs> it's probably. I know, I get it. Okay. Yeah, Trying to get the cuffs off of you. Sit up. Huh? Right, so straight. I'm happy to be in there. I can't feel it. Just this one work. Oh, well, there, there you go. Yeah. yeah. It might be some temporary for me landing on them. But yeah, I think it's fine, but when I took him, I had him in an arm bar. And so I swept his feet and tried to get him to land on his knees. And then, yeah. So we, I was on top of him, but his knees hit. So he didn't like just. No, I didn't like just point him out. No, that's, that would be wrong. <laughs> right, yes. <laughs> yeah. No, I tried to get him on the ground so that we could then just okay. double pick him up and just drag him in. But he pulled away, so I. Yeah. Good. Um, doing a good job on it. Though. Will that work? Uh, yeah, okay. it didn't. It didn't show the bad thing. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's he what. Didn't, he didn't quite have a normal reflex either, but he's kind of on drugs. So I got a supervisor coming down, but aside from that, we'll just. Uh, yeah. You guys slammed the ground. I only slammed you on the ground one time, sir, and it was yeah. very controlled. You need to listen to me. I can't not feel myself. I can't breathe my legs. Do you have insurance at this time? I have a veteran. Okay. I can't really talk. I need help. <laughs> you gotta help me, please. Oh no, Eddie. Okay. I can't move my legs. Please okay. help me. Please help me, God. Uh, we'll please help again. me. I can't move my legs. Mr. Gross, I'm going to explain something to you. We have to take your handcuffs off in order to put you on this bed. Okay, I'm going to take them off. I can't move, man. Here, I'll take like this off right away, now. I thought no way. Okay. Got that handcuff on my left hand so tight I can't stand it. Okay. Relax your arm. Dude, I'm a good guy. Don't do this to me, please. Okay. Relax. Relax your arm. I have my wife and kids. Are we going to just pull the blue sheet and slide them over? Or? He says he can't feel his legs. Yeah, I can't feel my leg, I swear to God. You need like lift people for this or? Um, I, I swear to God, I can't feel my leg. You guys can call, that's fine. If you can't, then I can call for some help. Okay. I cannot feel my leg. Well, well, he can slide them straight across if that works for you. And then we can, then we can use the white sheet to go back, right? You guys throw like. Oh my God. All right, we're going to slide I you off. That. Mr. Gross, listen to me. Listen. We're going to yeah, slide. On this. We're going to slide you over onto this. I love my kid. I so. I go ahead, man. I can't. Ah, I can't feel. Oh, my God. I can't feel my legs. What the happened to me? Oh, my God, dear Lord. So if you don't mind <laughs> One, two, three. Please help me. Okay, just like Please that. Help me, God. All I need you to do is oh hold God. real still, okay, Mr. Gregory? <laughs> Please help me, Lord. You're not having it so bad. Oh, that's how that works. <laughs> oh, God. Active guy. I was uh, I was working. I was a seasonal truck driver 
any spare time I had was I take care of my fiance, who is also disabled. I used to walk the dogs for, you know, two, three, four miles. We'd get on the trail over here at uh, Feather River Parkway. She would be on her scooter and I would be walking. Life was good, uh, you know. We have a swimming pool, I was able to go swimming. I'm the cook of the family and I used to go in there and cook all the meals. You know, I, I'm a non-smoker and I always took care of myself, you know. So that's out the window now. This is just a total blindsided by life with this injury. I couldn't imagine ever being laid up like this. But that's the way it is and I'm in this hospital bed in the living room here and, and I can't do anything. My, my, my hands don't work. And that's another thing too, I, I, can't, or I can't write, I can't open my hands to grab anything because the injury caused paralysis in my fingers and now they're, they're contracted. A lot of times I wake up every morning, I wake up and there's something to clean up, you know, and then Erica has to come in and clean me up as soon as she, as soon as she walks through the door, you know, that's her first job is to clean me up. And it, I don't know, it's not the way I envisioned my uh, later years in life, you know. No more freedom because of this. Every day I wake up and I know that I'm stuck in bed the whole thing's taking a, to take, taking a toll on me, you know, mentally. Since the injury, I've been in bed for uh, almost a year now. My love of life and love for my family, and that's what, that's what drives me, you know. Officers are very chippy, very insecure, and usually if you offer the slightest bit of lip, they will passive-aggressively let you know you've pissed them off. This might be something as small as kicking your feet hard to separate them, or bringing your arms too high, beyond their natural range of motion, or smashing your face into the ground, or controlling you from behind while forcing you to move at a pace that requires work to keep up with. They will often muscle you around, pushing you into things or through doors intentionally to batter you. Very unlucky for this gentleman. He ended up with a broken neck, a broken nose, and life that will never be the same. He's confined to a bed, requiring 24-hour nursing care for the rest of his life. He has no control over his bowels or bladder. He is now diagnosed with quadriplegia, which means every limb is affected by this. No movement in his legs, can't walk, get out of bed, or do anything really. Arms are dead for the most part, with his fingers stuck contracted, and only able to slightly wiggle the thumbs. Simply being blunt, his life is over. It's near impossible to find any of the enjoyments in life that he once knew. I'm sure there's a fat settlement that will eventually make it into his bank account. No amount of money is worth the trade-off. It may give him temporary enjoyment as he's buying things, but that will be short-lived pleasure, and reality will always set in. This officer showed no remorse, displayed complete arrogance throughout the whole video, and to this day, probably feels his use of force was justified. Not meaning, the result of the force, but the amount used? The only threat was to his ego, so if his ego needed so badly to rough up someone old enough to be his father, break his nose, berate them etc. he does not belong as an officer. This was no accident, his chosen use of force is what caused this. If the tables were turned, and the officer slipped, slammed his neck into the ground, while trying to control the subject, even if by his own doing, the defendant would be charged with attempted murder. This cop likely got nothing other than strict reprimand. This isn't one bad apple, both these officers behaved the same, so the whole force is probably tainted with these attitudes. Last thing. It's very telling how the hospital staff didn't even think or consider any part of what had happened. This tells you how common it is. They are patient advocates. Everything should be done or consider looking through the lens of the patient, not the officers. This was a DUI, this could literally happen to any of us. They are beginning to be held more accountable with body cams and police reform, but they know what they can get away with, and they still have their infamous beat-down motto stop resisting.